Now to a situation putting families on high alert in a local high school district, social media threats. Klein ISD is letting parents know it is investigating and taking swift action to keep students safe. KPRC2's Andy Sirota is live at Klein Kane High School tonight. The campus targeted by those threats. Andy, one student has been expelled over this. Expelled Christine with criminal charges pending. Klein ISD's chief of police says this isn't just a problem here locally, that school districts across our state and across the country are seeing and dealing with similar threats. A student of interest, a 15 year old, expelled from Klein ISD after threats were made against Klein Kane High School. Kid threatened the school, posted guns, and then some messages on Snapchat. Over the past few days, threats have been circulating on social media. Some of these screenshots are screenshots that we have saw a year, two years ago. Klein ISD's police chief says his team has been working around the clock with local and federal agencies to track down the source. This is not a prank. This is not a joke. This is not something to get more likes or more shares. The chief is also encouraging students and parents not to share these posts on social media because that often complicates matters. Somebody says, I know about this threat. So we reach out to them and only to find out it was their cousin's barber's best friend. I'm being facetious, but that's the kind of the way it works out. Instead, he suggests reporting them to school administrators and law enforcement. People get scared and don't want to come to school. Two students we talked to say the halls inside Klein Kane were a little less crowded today, and so were the classrooms. Each class are like four kids, max like 10. At a minimum, the student in question could face a charge of making a terroristic threat, though tonight enhanced charges are being pursued in the case. That's dangerous for the kid to be doing that. The district has increased police presence and backpacks have been banned from this campus for the remainder of the calendar year. Reporting live tonight in Northwest Harris County, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.